Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. Uh, what karma are they currently facing? Uh, this is going to be for the zodiac sign of Aries for June 2021. So um, this could be uh, with anyone that you're dealing with uh, from your past or currently, a family member, a friend, a co-worker, an ex. Um, so we're going to take a look at what your person did to you recent or in the recent past or in the past. And then we'll finish off the read to see what uh, karma they're currently facing or will face moving forward. Um, before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I am doing another giveaway where uh, I choose two winners for a one hour personal reading with me since I'm getting close to hitting 20,000 subscribers. The way you enter this giveaway is by hitting the subscription button, the notification bell, um, giving this video a thumbs up, uh, and leaving a comment in the comment section below with the hashtag 20k. Uh, once I hit 20,000 subscribers, I will go through all my comments, choose two winners, uh, and make the announcement on the community tab. So make sure that your um, notifications are turned on. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that you get notified when I announce the winners. Um, once I announce the winners, either you could leave your email, email address in the comment section below. If you're uncomfortable with doing that, feel free to email me. Because uh, once I when I make the uh, announcement, I will leave my email address in the uh, post. Uh, also, those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, let's get started. Um, Tell me about what the uh, what Aries this person did to them in uh, recently or in the past. Tell me about Aries person. What did they do to them recently or in the past? Nine of Swords in the reverse. We have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Okay, let's see. Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. All right, we have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, the Three of Swords. So, Seven of Pentacles. So, Aries, I feel like you're dealing with a player here, or you were dealing with a player. Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Wands, Aries energy. You know, this person could have left you in the cold. They could have gone back with an X here. Um, you know, I feel like there's this energy with this knight here. So you could have, like I said, you could have been dealing with a player. I feel like you were stuck in your head not knowing what was going on. I feel like this person didn't really care about you, especially with this nine of swords in the reverse. They weren't stressing out about losing you or anything like that. Um... Yeah, I, I feel like this person might have left you out in the cold to go back with an ex. Um, let's get some more messages. Tell me about this Nine of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, it seems like whoever you are dealing with acts on impulsivity. Yeah, it just seems like this person didn't give... Didn't really care, yeah. Didn't, wasn't really stressed out about losing you. Just, you know, was into the whole passion thing. Um, you know, sort of like temporary stimulation. Um, could be dealing with someone that hooks up with people a lot. Or you cheats around. Uh, tell me about the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Nine of Swords in the reverse and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, they. this person basically had it all with you, but they were just not stressed out about losing it. It's sort of that energy of, oh, um, you know, if I lose this Queen of Wands, I could find someone else very quickly. I feel like this person's extremely attractive, uses their looks to their advantage. Um, tell me about this Knight of Wands. 
You have the tower here. This person doesn't believe or is just doesn't have the awareness of that their behavior has consequences with this tower here. Tell me about the three of swords. Two of pentacles. This person was juggling. The, this person put you in the third party. So it seems like this person was involved in, with you and also thinking about an ex at the same time. Tell me about the seven of pentacles. You have the five of cups. Someone here might be looking back at the whole situation here and is basically disappointed that the, the, this didn't go anywhere. Or this Knight of Wands might be looking back at the situation and is disappointed at themselves. Perhaps it's this person is one of those people that acts without thinking, and then once they do it, later on, they, 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 they start to regret their actions. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. You have the Knight of Wands again. Yeah, this Queen of Wands is like, what is this knight doing behind my back? Like, what are they doing? Like, you know, are they with someone else? Um, I mean, the Knight of Wands is a very in and out energy. Um, I always say that the Knight of Wands is an energy that's only here for a fun time, but not a long time. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Six of Pentacles. So this Queen of Wands gave a lot to this connection, was hoping, hoping for some sort of commitment moving towards that, but it never happened because this person betrayed, uh, this knight betrayed this queen with secrets here. Yeah, leaving this queen out in the cold. Um, okay, we have the Nine of Swords in the, in the reverse being clarified by the Ten of Cups. The Knight of Wands being clarified by the Tower. We have the Three of Swords being clarified by the Two of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles being clarified by the Five of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords being clarified by the Knight of Wands. The Queen of Wands being clarified by the uh, Six of Pentacles. All right. Tell me more about uh, Aries' uh, person. What karma will they be facing? What karma are they currently facing or will be facing moving forward from now until the rest of June and eternity? Eight of Pentacles, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. Well, I feel like the karma that they're going to face is that they're going to have to work on basically healing this connection here with this Queen of Wands. But when you heal a connection, it takes two people to do it. And maybe this Queen of Wands is not really into working together with this Knight of Wands to Kill this, but let's see. All right, the High Priest, which is the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, King of Pentacles. Okay, I feel I'm feeling like this King of Pentacles is this Knight here. I feel like they might have like this person might have maybe money issues. I feel like this King of Pentacles should be in the reverse because um, this individual is just doesn't seem very stable. I mean, this is a very stable energy. This is an energy that has their shit together, but I feel like this person is behaving like a little child. This person could use their good looks and use their charm, also their material goods to lure people in. Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Well, I feel like the karma that they're facing is that they're gonna lose their true love for being, you know, for being a shady person. You know, sometimes the karma that they face is, you know, is how they're gonna live out their life. 
because you know they refuse to do the work to change they refuse to do the shadow work that's their karma that's the karma that they are uh, accruing and that's the way that they're going to live out their life that's their karma um all right tell me about this eight of pentacles Three of Swords. Tell me about Temperance. We have the Death card. Someone's going through a spiritual awakening. Someone's coming to some sort of realization that their behavior is shitty. They're trying to change. I mean, it seems like this person is doing the work. But they missed out on an opportunity by being shady here. Tell me about the seven of... No, tell me about the Hierophant. You have the King of Pentacles again. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. You have the King of Wands. So we have a pair on the board. King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. This is a soulmate connection. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords over the Seven of Swords. This person, their karma is basically robbing themselves of their own happiness, robbing themselves of basically finding true love here. I mean, they found their true love, but they basically effed up. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Yeah, this, this king realizes that they're in love and they really messed up by behaving very poorly here, by not caring, but now it's too late because now they're caring now because this person's not in their life. Um, you have the star card on the bottom of the deck. So this person is losing hope that they could ever get back with this person because they were basically being shitty, basically acting on impulse and not um, really um, being conscious of another person's feelings. And now it's hitting them. Now they're realizing that, oh, maybe I need to change my behavior here. Because I don't want to lose the one person that I really care about, that I love. Uh, because I was, you know, being shady. I was lying. I was being deceptive. Um, so, Aries, feel free to switch the roles if you like. Maybe you're this king or you're this queen. The roles could be flipped or reverse. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords. The uh, Temperance card, the um, Death card. Um, we have the Hierophant being clarified by the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles being clarified by the King of Wands. This person might be going through an awakening and, and it might not be pretty. I feel like maybe this person has a history of doing this to other people, not just this Queen of Wands. Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords, Ace of Cups, and the Empress. So Aries, this is your general reading. What karma are they facing for June 2021? If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.